not my skin like this iPhone makes my skin look like snatched. What is up, Crackhead Nation? It's your girl, Princess Galaxy, and today there's a lot going on. Not only am I planning on moving in like two weeks or like half a month or whatever you wanted to call it, whatever. Blackpink has been coming out with project after project after project after project and girl it's a little too much for me so if you guys don't know Blackpink's fifth anniversary as a group is approaching in August and honestly I'm really surprised because I remember like when they first debuted and I was like oh my god like new girl group because like that was when like 21 was like you know kind of gone and yg was like new girl group alert and i was like oh my god like another group to be obsessed with like we love to see it so long story short i want to talk to you guys about blackpink's upcoming projects and everything that we know so far so let's just start follow me on social media you know the deal let's get started and subscribe for more crackhead content and like the video please it helps me <laughs> please like the video let's get started so first we have of course the biggest thing which is blackpink the movie hello <laughs> i thought this was fucking crazy okay so apparently it's only coming out on the fourth and on the eighth and i'm just like what excuse me like i didn't i've never expected a blackpink movie because we just had light up the sky which was a documentary and personally i felt like light up the sky was good for like if you just start learning about Blackpink or like if you just start learning about K-pop, I think it's a good documentary. I also think it's an okay documentary like if you're already a fan, but me, someone who's like known them since debut or like been following them since they debuted, it was kind of like, okay, like it's a kind of a refresher, you know, cause I've seen a lot of those like, you know, the before things, like the pictures and the videos. I mean, some of them were, I think were exclusive videos to their trainee days, but still. So obviously I was really excited, but I wonder like what else are they gonna be talking about? And like, I don't wanna be that person because I'm an army and a, and a blink. So when I first heard this, I was like, I know BTS has like, what, three movies now, basically? And, like, I guess Blackpink... I guess YG was, like, okay, Blackpink... All, like, they're also, like, big K-pop acts, too. So, like, I guess they can get more than one, like, documentary movie. And also, apparently, it's supposed to include, like, two special performances from, like, the show. So... I really don't know what this is gonna be about. Like, that's the one thing I'm like, okay, I guess. So, I'm excited. I'm obviously gonna watch it in Chicago um, because that's like the closest to where I am right now. I mean, I think it's somewhere else in Michigan, like maybe Lansing or whatever, but honestly, Chicago's closer than Lansing, which is really shocking, but whatever. So, honestly, I'm really excited and let me know what you guys think about the movie. It's, it's called The Movie. <laughs> like the show the movie the music <laughs> when are we getting that so next i want to talk about lisa solo which currently i don't think is like officially a part of the the fifth anniversary projects but i'm just going to include it here because it's like something that everyone's been talking about so apparently like an official like yg statement well not a yg statement but a korean outlet reported that lisa is currently filmed in the process of like finishing her music video for her solo and yg it's basically like a reliable kind of like yg source because we've been hearing stuff for months about lisa's solo and honestly i do believe that it's coming i believe we might get it either at the end of july which is like it's july 13th so probably like in you know 15 10 15 business days <laughs> like a package <laughs> 10 15 business days who knows so i do think we'll be getting it either like at the end of july or like early august i'm really excited about that but i am a little worried because i enjoy blackpink as a whole group and i feel like all of the solos i haven't enjoyed as much as like their all ot4 music because I like Blackpink as a group. I don't I don't 
like i mean i like them as solos but so far like jenny's solo it was a bop it's cute can't really judge that hard on her solo because it's only one song but rose's even though she had two songs like it just wasn't really like my vibe like i liked on the ground and gone but i like them for like different reasons that i like blackpink's like ot4 music so i think lisa might have more of like that traditional blackpink sound when she comes out with hers so i'm really looking forward to like seeing what she's gonna do she might have like i i don't think she'd have a ballad but i think she might have maybe like a she might have like a edm kind of track because she's also rumored to have that song with dj snake but people are saying that it might not be on her it might not be her solo song it might just be like something with dj snake on the side and then like you know her music is gonna be like separate from like her solo debut so we'll see about that as well also lisa is the most popular member in blackpink i mean sometimes it depends on like where in the world like you say that but overall lisa is like the most popular so i really think she might have like either like an edm track as like the title track or a and then like R and B one kind of like had like how Rose had like two songs. I think Lisa will have maybe two songs. I couldn't see them going the Jenny route and having her do one song, but because like they just gave Rose two, so why would they give Lisa only one? You know what I mean? So I'm really hoping for two songs instead of one song because that would piss me off. I mean, it's already pissing me off that I don't even expect a full album, but at this point, it's like. If Blackpink only comes out with like eight songs on an album, what makes you think a member is gonna have more than that? You know what I mean? So it's like a member getting like two or three songs, that's like the Blackpink standard at this point. So I wanna know what you guys think about Lisa's like upcoming solo stuff. Like what kind of sound do you think it's gonna be? I think she might have like a a like, you know, neon bad bitch aesthetic, but like you never know, you know what I mean? Like I think Lisa fits like the black pink aesthetic, like overall. Um, and I think she could really fit, like, that badass vibe. Because she is a badass, but also, like, she might go, like, a softer route. Which I would not want, but, you know, I want that, like, badass. Give me that, like, that crazy choreo and stuff like that. And, like, I think this will be a chance for her to be able to do, like, really difficult choreography as well. So, ooh, someone behind me. Alright, next, we're going to talk about the other things. So, so far, we have found out that we are getting a fifth anniversary the limited edition photo book and honestly i couldn't care less now i'm not saying that because i don't like black paint i'm saying that not because i don't want to buy it i'm saying that because we already have so many photo books of black pink and it's literally like from the album era so it's like why do we need this photo book we already have so many photo books we have so many pictures and like obviously the photo book looks really beautiful it's like a shit ton of things included photo cards you know and like holographic vibes but it's literally just like the album it's literally like probably like pictures they didn't even put in the album so i'm not really not really that excited about that because it just looks so boring but you know that's not my department i usually collect albums um maybe like once i collect all of blackpink's albums i'll start collecting their photo books but for now i'm an album girl you know what i mean and it's just i don't i just don't really see a point in having extra photo book i guess for fans who like collecting and seeing different pictures of them that's fine but i'm more of like okay i want music like so what do you guys think do you guys not even care about this like me or do you guys like really like hella excited for it let me know <laughs> i read all comments so next we have the black pink and h&m collaboration so i don't think this is exactly one of the four projects like one of the four plus one projects but a lot of stuff is happening at one time so i'm gonna be talking about it i'm gonna be spilling the tea on it so basically h&m <laughs> we found out from like a germany h&m or something like but basically they're going to be coming out with these black pink h&m clothes they have like skirts and you know with the new black pink logo on it which i honestly think is like really pretty i like the scream merch where it's like 
you know what it is if you're a fan but if you're not you can just think it's pretty you know what i mean like it doesn't have to say black pink in your area like on top like i just like the subtle merch even though i like you know basic merch too but the h&m merch is really cute i really want the hat i would like the whole collection so i can like try it on for you guys and everything so h&m hit me up girl you know we we can we can do something we can do something for crackhead nation <laughs> so i'm honestly looking forward to at least looking at some of the pieces in real life i don't really have an h&m like where i live but in this new place i'll be staying there will definitely be an h&m close by so i'm looking forward to going in looking at the stuff and possibly buying some of it too and showing you guys so yeah next is my last thing and it's my favorite thing which is the black pink and starbucks thailand collaboration this collaboration is literally like insane like okay okay i if you guys know anything about me i'm trying to be chill right now if you guys know anything about me you know that i literally am obsessed with starbucks i love starbucks i have been a starbucks fanatic for <laughs> probably since like 2016 at this point i blame my older cousin for getting me involved in starbucks because ever since i had that strawberry frappuccino i have not been able to look back okay seriously i am a starbucks addict i made sure actually the place that we're moving to there's a starbucks in a mile radius because i cannot I just need to have it near me for comfort. Like, even if I don't, even if I eat, have one at home, even if I make a, a coffee at home, I still need a Starbucks near me to feel like I'm emotionally valid. I need the Starbucks around me to feel like I am a true American. You know what I mean? So when I saw this black pink like, Starbucks thing, I knew I had to have it. Now, currently, it's only going to be available in Thailand and maybe in other Asian countries, like Southern Asian countries. They haven't announced that it's going to be at Starbucks in Korea but um i'm really trying to find someone who can like help me get this so if you live in thailand or if you know like a company that does like exports for like uh starbucks in thailand or anything like that really please let me know and please let people in the comments know because i really want this so it comes with three cups a clear one which i if I don't get any of them, I want at least that one because, like, it's perfect for iced coffee and, like, stir it. Oh, it's so aesthetic. Ah, it's so aesthetic! I'm just so excited about it. And then there's also two tumblers, which are probably, like, in, I think are insulated tumblers. They're so pretty, too, and they have, like, the little charms for, you know, I think it's, like, a little Starbucks, Blackpink Starbucks cup and a light stick a cute little light stick they also have like other accessories that aren't like directly related to like drinking coffee <laughs> if you're not really into that they have a laptop case some bags a little pouch and just like other things like here's a picture but that's basically what it is so honestly black pink is kind of like they're really giving us the goods like i think they're also catering to a lot of different like fans this time around like they're not just catering to people who want music which they're not really releasing any music as far as i know but apparently they're supposed to be having to come back before the end of the year so i would enjoy that like an august september comeback but also if lisa's maybe lisa will have a short promo and then like they'll have a full comeback i don't know i don't i just i'm happy that blackpink can still be successful without overworking themselves too much but at the same time, it's like I would really enjoy maybe like a kind of like Kai, how he had his thing and then like he had his little solo thing and then like they came out with Don't Fight the Feeling. Kind of like that. I would like that. But it's kind of like a it's kind of like a longer break in between, which I'm fine with. I just want them to be OK. You know, I want them to not be too stressed. You know what I mean? So honestly, I'm looking forward to all these things. But like I said, they, they're catering to a lot of fans. They're catering to the people who want to, who enjoy movies or like enjoy watching like, you know, feature films. Also, the Blackpink uh, movie is apparently going to be at the Cannes Festival, which is like a prestige thing. So I'm really looking forward to that for them. Um, that's kind of iconic in, in my opinion. And they also have the merchandise um they have the people who like to drink coffee which is a me 
and who like collecting um, photo books. They also have, you know, the H&M collab for people who like just buying clothes. And um, Larissa Monoban, <laughs> that's it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what are you guys looking forward to the most with this black pink four plus one project. All right, guys, I love you, Crackhead Nation. I'll see you in the next video and like and subscribe for more content like this. Let me know. Leave a comment. What do you like? What do you dislike about this? Do you hate me? Do you love me? You ain't want my love if you only know to hate me to love. Mm -mm 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 -mm. How you love to hate me love. I mean, I'm not saying you hate me, but if you love to hate me, then that song's for you.